Hi, this is Neil Walters. In this video, I want to show you a new website called microworkers.com. What it is, is a person can do small micro tasks and earn small amounts of money for doing so. So this site has two purposes. One is for people who want to make a little bit of money, part-time, working from home, you know, maybe even while they're watching TV or something. The other side of it is for people like me who are in search engine optimization or web marketing, and you need people to do simple little tasks, but you don't want the same person doing a, the task or you want to spread the task across the world where people in diverse parts of the country go and maybe make a comment in a forum or on a video or something like that. So let's go into the site now. I spent quite a few minutes, maybe 30 minutes on it, doing some simple tasks and that audio didn't record. So I'm gonna redub over some of the things I was doing, give you some highlights of what I did, what kind of tasks they have. And at the end, I'll give you my conclusion as to whether a person can actually make any money with this if they wanna work from home. But of course, my conclusion is that as an SEO person, you can use this site to hire other people to do these small tasks. So let's take a look at it first of all from the point of the person doing the work what kind of tasks are there and how long does it take to do these tasks how hard is it and how much do they get paid so i set up an account first and i logged on and i'm looking at the different types of jobs that are available right now i'm actually in the column called youtube and here's a youtube they want you to go to youtube actually watch the entire video which may take four to seven minutes depending on how long the video is and then they wanted me to post a comment on it and it had to be a relevant comment not just like great video something a little more intelligent than that like I love the alto voice of Sherry or whatever her name was so it's a nice song but again it took uh, three or four minutes to actually accomplish the task So now here I'm reading my task. You have to be very careful that you read the instructions and do exactly what they say. I'm actually using my own account here. Some people might be using fake accounts, but this is my real YouTube account. And I just type in the comment here and I do my post. So now you go back to the micro worker site and you tell them that you've completed the task and they usually ask for some type of proof. So in this case, they actually want the comment that you posted and the name of the user you use to post it. And then basically someone will actually go audit that you really did what you said you did and then you'll earn your token amount of money for that task. As you can see here, the amounts range from 50 cents, 30 cents, 20 cents, dollar 25, and you can sort these so the higher paying tasks are on top. Uh, I'm looking for other YouTube tasks now. Actually, this is not YouTube. Yeah, it is. They want you to go to YouTube and search for something, I think. And sometimes I chose not to do a task. Either it was too confusing or I thought it would take too long for the amount of money they were paying. Here's one where they want you not only comment, but to share the video with some, with your friends. So now let's try another category. Let's look under Twitter. If you're a Twitter user. Now some of these Twitters, they actually required you to have a certain number of followers, like 500 followers when you do your tweet. So um, I didn't really qualify for those. So I learned pretty quick that uh, tweeting would not be my way to make money on this site. But again, for other people, maybe it would. Now this is the click and search category. Search plus engage. 
Open a tab in the browser, navigate to Google, search for San Diego car accident attorney, click the result, read the page, keep it open for 30 seconds before you click on something else. You're going to click practice area, our firm, contact, wait 20 seconds, and then close the page. So that's pretty easy to do. Anybody could do that. So now I'm going to do what they just said. I did the Google, paste in their search term, copy and paste it. And sometimes they're a little confusing at first. As you do more of these, I'm sure they get to be to make more sense. So there's the law firm that came up. Now they want me to just basically sit there, I think, for 30 seconds and then go to practice area and our firm. And I believe they actually had a typo here. Instead of our firm, I think it said about us or something like that. So I don't know if that was a trick to see if I was paying attention or not. I'm taking it kind of slow and reading it carefully. Now they have a pop-up. Obviously, we don't click the pop-up. Well, see, it says our team. It doesn't say our firm. So I was looking all over the page, like, where does it say our firm? So they had unclear directions. Okay, there's practice areas. I think they wanted you to click practice area, then click our firm, and then click something else. So again, it was a little, little confusing what they really wanted. You see, I had to go back and reread this several times. So again, this is where it can be very frustrating. You spend two or three minutes or five minutes and you make your 10 or 20 cents or whatever it is. I had to go back and read it one more time. What did they want me to do? Eventually they want me to get to the contact screen, it says. And then they usually ask you to prove you did it. What's the last sentence on the bottom of the page or something like that, that? That proves that you got to the right page they wanted you to get to. So in this case, I was going to copy and paste some of the, the last sentence. But then the question was, did they want the last sentence in the picture? or Did they want the last sentence of the text? Again, very confusing. But I think they actually did pay me for this. So there I'm telling them what I saw and exactly what I found so that there would not be any confusion. I'm telling them there was also a, a sentence in a, an image at the bottom of the page and about our team and our firm and so on. So I'm going to skip through the rest of this. So now basically I filled all that in. I confirmed that I did the task. It says thank you for submitting the task. And now I'm off to look for another task that I want to do. Back into YouTube for a second. I don't mind doing comments, but I really didn't want to do any shares. Here's another one that says, go to some YouTube, do something, leave a comment. Some of them want you to subscribe as well. I didn't really want to be a subscriber to their video. I'm going to their website in this case.
I think it actually redirected to YouTube. No, oh, there it is. It's a miracle burn. It's some kind of a weight loss thing. Well, I think they wanted you to know something about the product so that when you go watch the video, you could make an intelligent post. That's what they were wanting you to do. Again, the whole trick of this thing is to actually read the instructions carefully and do exactly what they say. So now it says go pick any one of these videos and you write your comment. So you took a miracle burn today. I of course, you want to not promote some product you don't so believe in or you don't think okay. would be very good. This is like, a case of a nurse like talking here. And so I made a comment, something like, oh, I have a nurse friend that I might need to tell this, tell about this product. You don't feel jittery. Your energy has to do with coffee, probably. No, caffeine, I just drink it because I like it. Caffeine does nothing. Absolutely no side effects? No. I don't even... Oh, and actually that was confusing. They actually had the video in a playlist. So I think while I was typing, it actually jumped to the next video. Well, that was rather frustrating. So I actually had to hit the back key and come back and continue typing my comment, which I'd already started. So there are many little frustrations like that when you're, you're dealing with uh, doing these little tasks. I was just checking the ingredients because my friend actually was into organic and stuff. So if I could say it was organic, I thought that would be a more interesting comment. All natural or whatever the term is. I think I just copied the text so that it, oh, because I have to post it back into the uh, proof of what I did. So again, I have to tell them my username and give them the text that I posted. So you just pop that in there and you say I submitted it. And also what video you submitted it on, because they actually had four different videos. So I think you see this can be a little bit tedious, a lot of work, but uh, it's something that doesn't take a lot of training to do it. Now I'm looking for another YouTube task. You can also sort by payment, of course, so you could see the top paying ones first. You know, if there was a one that paid 90 cents and one that paid 20 cents, you would try to do the 90 cent task, right? And I was trying to find something that did not require sharing. So I don't think I found anything else there. So let's go to another category. Bookmarks. So I'm a delicious user. That's a, a fairly famous bookmarking system. Some people use Google bookmarks. Basically, here's a web page, and they just want you to bookmark it. And that's it. So I'm using different tabs in the browser, of course. I open their web page.
and that's the phrase they wanted you to use in the bookmark. So you had to include that, that phrase, which is something like books for teens. So now I go back to that page and I run my bookmark link at the top. It says add to delicious. I'm about to click it. Again, I think I was being slow and overly cautious the first time I tried this. I think you would speed up your tasks the more you do this. I was also just kind of getting a feel of how other people were using the system as well. Why would what they would do? Why would they bookmark it? Why would they want to comment on their YouTube? I'm trying to think of it from a, a seller or a marketer's perspective. Okay, so here's my bookmark. I'm clicking add to delicious. The little delicious bookmarker tool pops up and I just basically need to paste that into the tags. I put it in the title too. And then I click save link. Just want to make sure there's anything else I'm supposed to do here. How do they how do I prove to them that I actually finished the task? So now I actually went to delicious. And I have to give them my page or my username on Delicious, and I made sure that the thing really got bookmarked. So it is, and I, I basically give them that URL, and then they can verify that URL, and they'll be happy and pay me. And I gave them the time that I made it to in case I did other bookmarks. And we record that we completed that task. Now looking for my next task. Okay, I found one here called Keyword Search and Visit. That sounds easy. They just want me to go to some search engine like Google, search for Diamond Ranch Academy or whatever. And from there, they want me to just go to some page and prove that I got there. So they want me to skip over the ads, of course, go to the actual real link, the, the organic link. And then they want me to click through to the official site, arrive on some other page for 30 seconds, and then click free info packet. Now, I didn't actually have to request the free info. Again, sometimes they'll make you enter your email and actually request free info. So they actually start by going to Wikipedia first. That's what they want me to do. And then they want me to follow the Wikipedia link back to their real website link. And that actually, I guess, helps Google or whoever know that people actually jump from Wikipedia from one site to the other, or maybe it helps Wikipedia know that these links are really being used. So that's kind of the game that they're playing. So they, I have to give them the URL of where I ended up. and copy and paste the text at the bottom text next to the green something button. I actually had trouble finding the green button because uh, I had the screen kind of shrunk to make the video for you guys and the green button was actually in the upper right corner but on a small screen their website kind of had it hidden so I'm going to skip over that here. Okay, so I finally found the, the submit for more information. I found the green button, and that's the text they want to see right there. So I paste that back in to prove that I have done my task, and I'm done with that one.
Okay, this one piqued my interest because I think it was like uh, $15. But the trick is you have to have a PR4 website. And if you're into search engine marketing, you might know what that means. That means you have a high authority blog site. And they, they either want you to write an article and post it on your blog or actually found other cases where they just wanted you to take an article they had written and post it on your blog. Now, I actually do have a couple of PR4 websites, but, you know, I didn't want their junk on my blog, basically. So you're basically selling links in this case, a $15 link back from a high PR site. And actually the time it takes you to write the article, which could take 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how familiar you are with that topic. And here's the one where they actually want you to download a phone app, put it on your phone, and then sometimes they want you to do a review on it, so many three, four, five stars or whatever. So that's something I really didn't want to do. I'm skipping on down to another one. This one, they actually wanted you to go to Amazon and uh, give so many stars or write a review on a product. And obviously it's a product I never tried. So to me, that really borders on eth unethical and perhaps an FTC violation. So I wouldn't do that one. But you know, there, were there are people out there that would. Here's one I almost did. It's to download a, a program from the web called 7-Zip. It's just a fancy zip and unzip program. I've actually used it before, and it's a good program. But they want you to download, install it, and then tell you about the install. So by this point, I think I've done enough tasks. I was just curious, like, what, what all the other things people are asking you to do here. In this case, it looks like they actually gave a bad URL, a bad link. So there's a case where you can't do that task if the uh, link doesn't work, right? Okay, looking for another one, I found this one, another keyword search and click three times, three clicks. Once you go to Google, search for this uh, mesothelioma lawyers. That's a big term that lawyers do for asbestos uh, lawsuits. And I guess I decided I want to skip over that one. WordPress. No. Nope. Now they want you to install a WordPress plugin and review it. Another example. If you're a writer and you like to write articles, here's an article you can write uh, for ta something about a tattoo lounge. Tells you how many words have to be in the article, what they pay, and so on. So that basically completed the task that I wanted to do. And uh, what I have to do is wait, come back a few days later, and then see how much money I earned after the tasks were approved by the people who requested them. So I came back a few days later to see how much money I'd actually made. And wow, I made a whole $1.92 for probably what was 30 minutes of work. So definitely not a very high paying job. So let's show you how I can see what happened here. If I go to tasks I finished, then there are higher group tasks, which I did not do any, and basic tasks. So here in the basic task, you see which ones I did. And then I would assume that the sum of those would add up to $1.92. And they put these little, uh, someone actually reviews your work. That's why it's not instantaneous after you've done the work. Someone from whoever hired you has to check to see if it's valid. So um, it says here, satisfied and paid. I've got that on all my tasks. It's possible they could not be satisfied with your task and you wouldn't get paid. And originally, it just said pending employer review means it's going to take a day or two for them to review your work. And then you can look at any one of these and you can see the details again, like uh, this was a YouTube comment. Employer rated this task satisfied. I earned 30 cents. That was my employer. And it's just a review of the steps that I did and then the information that I posted back here. So the question that I originally set up to pose here was that could a person without work in the United States do this to make an, a living? And the point was, would be that, well, it'd be very hard. I mean, they could maybe make 
four or five dollars an hour, but that's less than minimum wage. Obviously, you probably get faster the more you do these types of tasks. But some tasks just took longer because like one of them, I had to listen to the video the full time through and then comment on it. And that, say, took five minutes. And then I only got 30 cents for that, those five minutes, for instance. Now, there were some higher paying tasks on here. Let me go back to jobs. And you can actually sort, I believe, by the amount of the money. Here, you click on most paying. So you can see there are some jobs on here that pay three fifty and two dollars. So if you could do two or three or four of those an hour, you might be doing all right. But for instance, here this first one says they basically want a blog on a PR3 site. So you have to be a little bit of a network marketer to know what that means. PR3 is a page rank three. It's a type of website where Google has ranked it. The higher the PR, the better. So that means you would have to own your own PR3 website. And then you would either have to post or write the blog and stick it on there. In a lot of cases, you actually have to write the blog. Let's go check this one out. I have to verify my phone number before I can get the higher paying job, it looks like. Here's one we have to download an app. You have to install it on your phone, which means you have to have a smartphone. You have to rate it with four or five stars and leave an honest review. There's a couple places where you just need to go get an auto insurance quote. But also notice there's not that many two or three dollar jobs. I mean, once you've done the 350 one here, there's not like five other 350 jobs waiting. You've done it, it'll disappear. The next highest paying job is two dollars. So even if you did the top 10 jobs on here and it took you a day or two or a few hours, then the next few jobs would be less paying and then the next ones would be less paying and so on. There may not be enough jobs on here to keep a person totally busy for eight hours a day at least not for the higher paying jobs. So that's my review of micro workers. Now I may use this site as a marketing person, as a, as a buyer. I may hire some people to do some tasks for me and now I've got $1.92 to spend. <laughs> and of course you can fund this. You can come in here and you can deposit money from, I think it's either PayPal or credit card. Here's what they take, different credit cards. And you can deposit $100 on the account, and then you can hire other people to do work for you, like rate your videos and that type of thing. So that's the other side of micro workers. And that concludes my review of this website from the worker's point of view. So as you can see, you're probably not going to make a lot of money on microworkers.com. However, I have a couple other ways that you can make money on the Internet. One is by doing simple little videos, and the other one is by blogging. Now, this is more of a long-term way to make money. It's not like you do a blog and you get paid today. It's more like a long-term income. So if you want to know more about those, check out the links that I'm going to give you at the end of the video, and I'll see you on the other side.